Hey, Gemini, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot. So I went ahead and I did your entire reading. I just recorded the entire thing. And as soon as I uploaded, I realized the sound was off. So I'm here. I'm doing it again. Um, I guess it'll go a little bit quicker now because the messages are the same. Um, so let me start from the very beginning. All right. So this is going to be, this is for May for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. And some of the messages may or may not resonate. So just take whatever works for you. The first thing I want to get out of the way here is I want to call out the signs that you may be dealing with. However, I don't want you to focus on the signs. Okay. I want you to focus on the message because your person that you're dealing with, you may not know their sign. You may, but it could have more to do with their Venus. So let's just not focus so much on the signs. So you have Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, another Gemini, Aquarius. There's uh, Sagittarius is showing up here. And that's it. Okay. That's out of the way, but you know who your person is. Okay. Past position the death card. So there was definitely some type of a transition that happened in your life. Either someone left this world and went into a new situation or um, just left a situation altogether, transitioned out. It could have been you. You could be coming across with the Queen of Cups energy, um, have left a situation, or there could have been some type of like a spiritual awakening, some type of change. Whatever happened, whatever it might be, Okay. There was an energy here of someone going from point A to point B in the past. Now this could have been someone you were connected to who left you for someone else. Um, or you could have left someone you were with for someone else. Okay. So your situation, I really feel like we're focusing more here on, um, Focusing more on the first message that somebody walked out of your life or somebody left your life, okay? Um, one sec here. I'm just trying to pick up some mess extra messages. Okay. So um, this, I'm, I'm also picking up a mother figure, a motherly figure passed away or a female passed away in the past. So your current energy here, Gemini, is you have the eight of pentacles. So I actually feel like you are doing okay. You're very focused on work. You're taking care of um, the things that you need to take care of. You know, also for some of you, depending on your age, you're listening. This is also, I was picking up moving out of the family home as well, or um, moving away from a female. Okay. Um, so I see you here working very hard. There's a part of you that's trying really hard to repair a broken heart, maybe trying to fix a broken heart or either yours or trying to fix or repair someone else's broken heart. Okay. Maybe if you left a relationship and uh, that person was just, um, there's an, el an element, maybe of feeling guilty about that for some of you. Okay. Um, but I really feel like you are for the most part, if this was someone who walked away from you, I really feel like you are, um, doing okay. You seem to be doing okay. Um, you're, what's driving your reading, you have the Ace of Wands. So it just seems to me like you're all about your growth, expansion. You know, you want to have sex. <laughs> you know, you're you're very focused on your passions. Um, this is such a phallus symbol. It's not even funny. But I just feel like you are starting new things, creating new things. Your energy is, is very, you know, it's very good. And even though, even, even though there's some type of um, heartbreak or situation that is still a challenge, I don't, you know, I, I feel like for the most part, you're really just like, what can I do? 
you know, I see you just kind of like here, like I've got to work and I have to take care of the things I have to take care of. What can I do? I mean, I could try to repair this connection again, but it doesn't seem to be working. So, you know, what can I do? If, if, uh, you know, if you were someone who walked away from someone, um, and you, you feel bad or you want to try to help heal their heart, it's still the same message. Like how, you know, what can I do? It's not working. Okay. And, or vice versa. All right. So, um, yeah, you've got the fool card here. So I really just feel like your energy is like carefree. Like you, you, I don't see you trying to stay in this place any, you know, I don't see you trying to stay in any type of negativity. You're just doing your thing. You're taking off. You're, you're doing what you need to do for yourself. A little, uh, caution though, is that with the fool card, your thought process, really what's, you know, crowning you coming down on you, um, your energy here is to not pay attention to what you're doing and just carelessly go. And um, there's a warning sign with that, okay? Because you might step off a cliff and really screw up and really make a huge mistake. So try to be very conscious of the decisions that you're making, okay? I feel there's an element of excitement here. Um, although there is sadness, there's also an element of freedom. I don't know why, uh, some of you might be feeling that way. If there was a long suffering with someone in the past, the, the, um, even though there's sadness that it's over, that element of freedom does naturally come, <coughs> excuse me. So it could have something to do with that also. Now your near future here, you have the hermit. And I clarified that with the three of cups. So there is some type of, um, it's interesting. There's grieving, yet there's a celebration at the same time. Okay. There's deep reflection, yet there's happiness, joyousness with family and friends or people, support, supportive people. So this can be, um, for those of you who, who have lost someone, in the past, recently, this can be funeral, um, reception type of a thing, you know, where it's mixed with grief, but there's also, um, celebrating that person's life that, uh, that for those of you who have had that situation happen. Okay. For those of you who, um, there's an element of, um, divorce, um, that plays out here too. It's bittersweet. Okay. Um, it's just, I'm just seeing a mix. There's the lovers here. I'm just seeing a mix of sorrow and celebration. So um, I feel, Gemini, that you might go into a little bit of a deeper reflective mode. Um, this energy here, I feel, is playing out as a result of this loss, whether it was divorce or the death of someone. This is almost like shock right here um, for some of you, where it's like the suffering is over, you're relieved, going back to work, focusing on your work. The heartbreak is still there, but I feel like it's catching up with you later. And with that, it's the loss or the grief over a marriage um, or a union of some sort. Yet, there are people around you who are supporting you through this right now. Okay. So I feel like that energy is playing out here, uh, reflecting back, thinking back on some kind of a loss, okay, whatever it might be. Again, even if, um, depending on your age, I know the majority of, majority of my uh, viewers, I think, are mid-20s to mid-40s, so I don't necessarily feel like we'll have any college-age people here. Um, but there's some type of, um, something ended and the energy playing out where it's like bittersweet. It's a relief to be free 
but then the grieving catches up a little bit later. And just remember to seek support of um, those around you. Okay. Now, what your advice in this situation is, is you're being called to take direct action through some type of conflict that you'll be experiencing in May. Okay. Um, you may be called to move. You may be called to travel home. Uh, you may be called to take care of some things that have to do with family, where there's some family conflict or friends or something surrounding um, this situation, if it's a divorce or whatever it may might be, children, conflict with children, because these do look like children, teenagers, family. Um, so you may be called to... Um, take control of this situation. Um, some of you are also, if you're males, being called to a carpool um, sports team. <laughs> I don't know why it just came out like that. Or take control of like a sports team. I don't know. If you're like, um, or even if you're female, if you are uh, like a, a teacher and then you coach some kind of school thing, um, your advice is to focus on that. I don't know. Or something to do with, with teenagers or elementary school, you know, um, seven, eight, nine, ten year olds, that kind of thing, preteens. Uh, that's so weird. Hold on, let me see what else comes up. Some of you, uh, something to do with bus driving or taking children around in a vehicle. Okay. Conflict with that, not an accident or anything like that. Just some conflict. This is a card about competition. And so there can be like some, that's something, I don't know why this is being called out like this, but, um, it's in your advice, you know, so you need to um, take action in regard to some type of sports thing or competition thing. I don't, you can leave me a comment and let me know what the heck that is even about. Okay. What's surrounding you right now is, or in, in May is the moon and the high priestess. So there's an energy here of um, secretiveness and disillusionment. Okay. And with this card, You're really going to have to go by your intuition this month, Gemini, because you're being called to walk through the valley of death here, all right? You're being called to take a path between um, good and evil, all right? You're being called to walk right straight through the middle of that and to not be pulled in either direction. You're being called um, to pass through these gates. You're being tested for something right now. Um, I don't think lobster usually comes out of the water uh, unless he's going to be boiled. So you're being tested. <laughs> Not that you're going to get boiled, but, and you're being called to trust your intuition and your gut about a situation here, possibly about a partnership. Okay. Um, the only way that you're going to get through this is to trust your own judgment here. The only way. There are people that will be surrounding you that will help you. But the only way for you to walk through this is <coughs> with your faith and trusting your intuition. Some of you may even need to get a tarot card reading. Right? So... That's for those of you who partake, and you must if you're here. So um, I'm seeing your hopes and fears as reconciliation and breathing, bring things back together again. And I, I do feel there will be some type of reconciliation with someone here, okay, that they will be coming back into your life. But I am also seeing separation again with them, okay? So I feel like um, there may be reconciliation to try to... I don't know, breathe life into this one last time, um, just because there's it's just kind of the way things go. Not in the sense where there's um, someone who's passed. Um, this could have more to do with um, reconciling 
sorry for the blur, reconciling um, things within yourself in regard to your relationship with this person and then removing them or separating from them. But in regard to someone coming back into your life, um, I do feel that's going to happen again. And it is something that you want. And it is something that maybe needs to be cleared out one last thing. or It's not so much someone needs to have the last word, but it kind of plays along with, um, there's just something that's not quite finished. And this could have something to do with this conflict energy here, that something is not quite finished and needs to just tie up loose ends. Okay. Now the beautiful thing here is that if this situation is completely over, which I do feel like it's going to come to a final end, um, I see here, there's the Ace of Cups and Temperance. So there is a new beginning of love that is um, going to be coming to you. Archangel Michael is watching over you, protecting you. And look, he is mixing up some kind of a love potion here. He is getting together, bringing together you and another person. Okay, this is divine timing. You don't even know about this. This is all happening behind the scenes. He is preparing someone for you and preparing you for someone else. And that's probably why you went through all of this. Okay, because I don't really feel like you had the Ace of Cups with this person before. I feel like you had maybe the Two of Cups, you know, um more so friendship. I mean, he's preparing a potential match for you. Okay. Um, I feel like the person you were connected with may, may have been more of like a friendship or something, but it wasn't like, you know, wow. I mean, it might've been for some of you, but either way, there's definitely an element here of um, <clears throat> divine timing is at work. So you're going to go through some stops and starts with someone from your past rehashing, uh, even though it's they walked away, it's not officially over yet. There's still loose ends that need to be tied up. Um, so you'll come back and forth a few times throughout, or at least once throughout May going into June. Um, and just as far as you having lost someone or <clears throat> not with being with someone anymore, um, the energy here, because that was... I'm picking up water for some of you connected to a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. Um, if that was someone or whatever, that they're no longer in your life, whether it be a physical death or whatever, um, there's new beginnings coming here for you, but you're being challenged to walk through some very scary trees, scary forest. All right. And I know that you want it. I know that you want it, but I see that you'll be able to do it. Okay. Just remember that you have people um, surrounding you who are supporting you. Just remember that and call on them, call on them for help. But this is a road that you have to walk alone at the end of the day. Okay. You have to go through this alone and your intuition and who you are and your spirit, you can do this. Just call on her and she'll help you through. All right, Gemini, that's your reading. Very deep, very spiritual. Um, I hope that you have a very blessed month of May and a very happy birthday. And um, again, if you want a personal reading for me, just check the description box below and you'll be able to uh, get a hold of me. All right, take care.